Hello everybody, it is the Black Knight, and if ever there was a time when I had to don the pajamas. Ooh, you've been a word for Queen and Country for the Swinger. Whole bunch of other stuff up here, a bunch of liveries. Okay, that's that's all good. If ever there was a time when we had to be the CEO in pajamas. It is now, because, as you can see, you can perhaps you can tell from the fact that the deals, the, you know, the liveries are there, the DLC has dropped. After Hours, the nightclub DLC. And as you can see, I've been working very diligently, taking advantage of most of the double money events. Well, that looks nice. Tony's Funhouse t-shirt. Very cool. So what we have here is I now have 11 million dollars and some change. 11 11. Make a wish. And what we're going to wish for is a whole bunch of new things to get on the, the fake internet here. Let's see. Now I'm all confused here because I was convinced that the swinger was going to be the Jaguar E-Type. This, I guess, should be more like a D? One of the old racing Jags? I thought Swinger was supposed to be a myth. It was supposed to be an E-Type. A few blueprints got passed around by collectors, but they just didn't seem possible. The aerodynamics were decades ahead of their time. Engineering was too complex for a classic car. da 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 da, -da. Thanks to the power of assembly robotics and easily monetized nostalgia. Still, it's not an E-Type. That, that disappoints me. And the Jester Classic is here. Hooray. I, I don't know. You know, I've never been... Always give you a back here. I've never been big on, on Supers. I mean, I like them as much as anybody else would. I mean, but it's not an emotional touch tone for me, you know? It's touch stone. Where's the tyrant? War stock. Okay. Now this is supposed to be as if my research tells me you get a sale if you're in the with the in crowd. You know, I'm on the guest list, so let's see, what do you have to do? Trade price, own a nightclub, and complete five sell goods missions as a I how you have to sell stuff out of the those nightclubs. So you have to set the nightclub up. This is not a delivery truck, it's a blank canvas. You're a thundering juggerma juggernaut of modern urban warfare, spitting missiles, machine gun. Oh, okay, so it's 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 an armored vehicle. So you have to get a nightclub to get that. So same with the pounder. After a certain point, you have to ask, is this still is this still a weaponized vehicle, or is it just an arms depot with four wheels and an engine? We'll take it. Well, take it from us. Once you've taken your pick of heavy armor, front-mounted chain guns, dual missile launchers, an artillery barrage, a passenger control grenade launcher, proximity mines, and a roof covered in barbed wire, you'll know you've crossed that line. So we have to we have to get some some uh, real estate first. The prices aren't bad on them, though. I mean, that's only even without the the, the buy price. It's only two hundred grand. This isn't too bad. Where's the expense come in? Let's see anything on the center, Southern San Andreas festival bu festival bus. Why would the festival bus be nearly two million dollars? Or you know, the trade price, same deal. Sure, there are voices in the back of your mind right now whispering, is that a ludicrous idea? But you know what? As soon as you nervously tune into Worldwide FM and instantly shatter every window in a 10 block radius, you're never going to hear those voices or anything else ever again. <laughs> okay. What's the, the crusty cruiser? Geometric camo. Daddy's back. Cosmic trip. Urban arrows. 90s flava. This flavor? Flava. Purple Swirls, Alien Invasion, cool man. 
party in my bus. I don't know what one we're going to get, but not yet. Mammoth pit. This has got a trade price. Are you an excitable miner in a rented former... <laughs> rented former... Former... Bleh, why can't I say that? Are you an excitable miner in rented formal wear whose life ambition is to lean out the windows and pretend to be drunk on your way... <laughs> pretend to be drunk on your way to the prom? Or maybe you're a nar narco-terrorist with a large retinue and a really important client meeting. How about a Z-list celebrity wrapped in a death spiral of conspicuous consumption? Whatever your needs, there you go, you got it. Now again, not as bad price, you know, if we get the trade price going. I guess we're gonna we're gonna get to that point. But all this predisposes us to we need obviously it's these disco things here. The Del Perro nightclub. Now all my stuff's up in Del Perro. You know that's that's where there's Maze Bank. This is just up from Maze Bank. The the Vespucci Canals one's a little bit, maybe even closer. Well, that's right up the road. That's right up this road right here and then in. Vespucci's 1.3 million. 300 grand. Does it, does it really, is 300 grand going to, you know, just to say has Del Perro on it. Is that worth it to me? Because this is down here. Of course, that's a little bit trickier to get in and out of. This is just zip de zip de doo here. Let's zip through some of the text here. Try gentrifying a dockyard slum that's knee deep in industrial discharge. Okay, that's that's funny. Well, you're just at the airport. Post industrial cool. The, with the roar of the interstate X as a subwoofer. Oh, that's this nice. Here we go. And the disused page factory behind residual le levels of industrial solvent. There you go. Just everyone gets wasted on the paint fumes. <laughs> These are just, just terrible. Downtown Vitewood. Basking on some abandoned commercial cheek. There's a name. Okay, that's just all good there. What else have we got here? So that's West Vinewood. <laughs> Hard to find a suitably scuzzy location in West Vinewood. He paid some drifters to live in it for a couple of months. All the character needs. Now the one I'm probably gonna go see. The only one thing need to push the Vespucci canals into being more Europe, European than Europe, and that's a wildly pretentious and brutally overpriced nightclub set among the ruins of once profitable commerce and industry. Okay. This charming 20-style building in Del Perro has just enough residual class to offer a post-ironic thrill when you turn it into a throbbing techno dungeon. I kind of like that idea. There's nothing. It's all downtown. There's nothing up there. Well, I think we know what we're going to get buy it from this point so let's pick out the style I'm I got 11 million we're gonna go a little bit wild here this is the kind of authenticity that's made of nothing but solid concrete welcome to a world of possibilities nothing is forbidden but nothing is free okay that's, that's kind of subtle let's see what's the difference is it just the color All right, that's definitely more up, upscale. This is a little more dim. That's a little more plain. Basically the same though. It's not that. It's just the lighting. It seems maybe a little bit of texture differences. I mean, I kind of like the default just for just for looking at. But it doesn't really have a, a nightclub-y kind of feel to it. So that that has a glitzy, wild sort of. It's amazing what can happen when your only guiding principles are limitless opulence, staggering elitism, and the pursuit of overwhelming bodily pleasure. It looks like something out of, you know, Austin Powers. Oh, goodness. That's just... No, that's just wrong. The, the coffee table alone. Okay, let, let's look at... Let's look at nothing is forbidden, but nothing is free. The pictures from there. Why do I think maybe it's not a bad plan to go cheap on this? 
of course, you don't know. Is the um, is the effectiveness of the place and how much money you're going to make? It depend on how ridiculously opulent the place is. And let's what's the light rig? Do we need? Whoa! What do you think? I think lasers. That just kind of screams it to me. I am tempted for once, simply because I have the, the funding here to really max the place out. Okay, you can't... Oh, they've only got preset names. Omega. Paradise. Paradise seems a bit... Studio Los Santos. That's... Masonette. The Palace Galaxy Technology. I guess it depends on what style you want. Considering that this is supposed to be something run by Gay Tony from GTA 4 and the Ballad of Gay Tony, I'm wondering. And this is is this, is this the mo are they all the same price? They're all the same price. I'm wondering if there though if there aren't more vocal kind of options here if there's more voice acting with the Tony's Funhouse one. So let's let's do Tony's Funhouse. Storage. Add up to four extra floors for your storage facility. 1.7 million. So we're up to four million for you know what? Let's do that. And okay, so you get three extra floors for your garage. Hopefully so this is forty more cars. Dancers. I think you gotta have dancers. Style one, two girls. Style two, two boys. Which does not look like it's. But. Style three, boy and girl. Which that seems like it's the most you know fair and balanced way of doing this. Is there a diff price difference? It's slightly more expensive to go the boy and the girl. Why is that? Probably because it'll bring more people in. Okay. I don't know how the business aspect of this works yet. So I'm thinking, let's max it out. Dry ice. Add instant atmosphere to your dance floor during the key moments of your DJ set. $300,000 for dry ice. So we're looking at $5 million. Am I going to make all my money back on this? I had to kill myself to get $5 million up on this, but I'll still have $6 million. Now, let's let's think about this. I still haven't gotten the vehicles yet, and we're still well over a $50 tarot card. This is like a, this is getting towards a $100 expansion. <sighs> Do it. That is what we're going to have. Purchase pending, blah da 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 Set the waypoint. Return the map. All right, let's just let's we're here. Great choice. That venue could be really special. Come by whenever you can. T. Remember, I'll do anything as long as it's legal. Itch. So to get things rolling, you know what I probably should do? I think I should probably make sure I fire up all of my businesses. Bad news. Well, not bad news. Annoying news. Yes, annoying news. This, this idiot has come by. You'll see. It's Vinewood, I guess. There's lots of idiots. Thanks. Okay, Tony. We're in a public session, so what should we cruise in? What should we... I feel like we need something special here. I'm probably in the wrong garage, but no, you know what? Let's take one of our more personal vehicles. Something that's... Listen, this is uh, Tony Prince. I'll cut straight to the chase. I heard you were a savvy investor, shall we say? Yes, I like that. A savvy investor. I'm not such a savvy investor. I was going to open up a chain of venues, only that's all gone to shit. <laughs> Again. But head over to foreclosures.mazebank.com and buy one out of foreclosure. I can open you the best nightclub in the whole state. Any of them. Seriously. And so you don't think I don't understand, where there's nightclubs, there's cash. And when there's cash, there's money that can be washed. Anyway, think about it, for the love of all that is fine in this world. 
Nah, we gotta take we gotta take the weirdest one. The Basmobile. Okay, so we got the phone call even though we already got the thing set up. All right, let's let's do some things here. Let's get some businesses hopping. I have invested quite heavily. Now we might have to do a, a supply run on this. Hopefully we can just buy the supplies. Purchasing an iClub will also give you access to an underground warehouse. The where this warehouse supplements your existing businesses, acting as a hub for a variety of goods types. Assign staff to manage weapons, product, or cargo, and automatically accrue them over time to sell for profit. So this might take away some of the work. Okay, restart the business. Okay, so it's restarted. Resupply. Buy the supplies. Confirm. Supplies are on their way. Now president of the Ukuk. And you know what? We'll maybe I'll cut to the chase here. We won't need to, you don't necessarily need to watch all of this. So I'm wondering, it was going to do the full loop around everything instead of all the businesses, but I wonder if I just, this isn't enough just to have gun running and cocaine and smuggler stuff up and running. I mean, the smuggler stuff is always there. The crates are always there, right? So what, I was going to go and go all the way out into Blaine County, but I'm wondering, just wondering, if it wouldn't be better right now just to see what this place is about. I have, I have businesses being resupplied at the bare minimum. Now where is this place? Okay, now this... Oh, that's pretty convenient. I, I think that was a... Uh, okay, so this... This looks like a pretty good location, folks. It looks uh, quite... What's this? Business battle. Goods type cargo. Oh, someone fired something else. That must be... Maybe that's one of the new missions. Business assassinate all the targets to reveal the cargo. Okay, that's. I don't think we want to necessarily do that. Whose bike? I can't take it. Is there a, is there parking here? Okay, may I have to go in first before I can get the parking. Okay. Get ready for some cutscenes! This is meant to be a live event, people! We need lights! Where's the light man? Brian! Give me a fucking spotlight! All right, let's run through this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes. This is Famer Shame Live with your host, Laszlo! He does that, and then... Shit! Ow! And then I run on, and everybody claps, and then I go, it's time to introduce the guests. And then, where's my assistant with the list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, okay? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. No, no, but Tony... Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best. Playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good, God-fearing idiots. 
Tony, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. I cannot, I will not sit here and watch it. We need kids, young people, midlife crisis divorcees, whoever's gonna bring the party, and we need them wasted, and we need them dancing, not taking selfies with some fuckwits. I ran the fucking 1980s. I was the 1990s, and I'm back. Okay. Get me a DJ. But, Tony, I, I, I'm the DJ. <laughs> I'm the, no, you're not a fucking DJ. You're a dick. Uh, a dick? But, uh, Tony, I got you a bunch of celebs. I'm gay Tony. The gay Tony. I'm the celebrity here. Me and him. But if you want to bring some famous people into the club, we will host them gracefully. Because I am favor and grace, and I am back. I got an investor. We're running shit again. I need a DJ. <laughs> I've been high since 2010. What do these kids need nowadays? Uh, I'm having a breakdown. <sighs> I'm too old. Me too. Yeah. Tony, can we hug? Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right, all right. And Tony? Yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. All right, all right. Find me English Dave. English Dave? He says a DJ, the booker. He's in the book. All right, come on, boss. Let me show you around. All right, listen, big guy, work your list of famous people. We're opening very soon. Okay, you got it. All right. I am going to fix this place up for you. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. That's a gorgeous space. Plenty of room. Lots of storage. You can set up a hub for your other businesses, maybe. I don't know. I'm just saying. Whatever you need. I know nothing. I mean, I know everything, but hmm. Make your way through there. You got a computer in there. You can bring another staff down here. Your whole entourage. Whatever you need. You sure know how to set that up. And upstairs... Upstairs is another office with a computer on the same network. You can run the club businesses out of that. And the interior team ready to move in. Ho oh, ho. And the name, Tony's Funhouse. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Amigo! <laughs> hey. Que pasa? Hey, hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. That's <laughs> ah, my new investor, English Dave. Ah, uh, safe. Skin. Respect. So how you been, Tone? Long time, no power. Yeah, how's a kite, Dave, and curse and fate. And you? Oh, never better, old son, never better. <laughs> Born love. Nice bag? Ah, oh, no, thanks. Ah, <laughs> suit yourself. <sighs> what can I do you for? We're reopening as a nightclub. <laughs> a proper, underground, dance music paradise. And what kind of crowd do you want in this, uh... Paradise. Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. We're gonna make this place amazing. I need people, you know, who know music. Club music. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir-faire. Someone who can bring in the business. Let me see. <clears throat> no, not him. Not her. To open this dump, bring in a good crowd. Solomon. It's the proper shit. Great music, great crowd, and no cheese. Mmm, how much? Let me see what I can do. Daniel, his manager, owes me a favor. I've got a few other DJ ideas as well. One love. One love. Well, you've got to get to work. I'll stay here and oversee the improvements. You get us a staff and a sound system. Do you know Ritual Sacrifice? Festival out in the desert. Got to borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff, I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer. All right, that was better than I thought it was going to be. New contact, Laszlo. Laszlo, which way do I go here? Now, let's just go up the stairs this way. English Dave is a contact. And they're just hanging out on their phones. Okay. What's up here? This way out? No. Here we go. This is your private office. Tony has already started renovating this area and shares this space with you. Okay. It looks like this is the default color scheme, so they haven't gotten it up to date yet with what I selected. 
which was completely gaudy and, you know, just over the top. Because I just want I, I didn't, I don't know, that might actually be a thing, you know? All right, so set up missions. That's what we're going to do. And we've got the other two businesses up and running while we do this. Still, I, mean, I don't know what the daily costs are going to be. That's kind of a concern. What's this computer do? Nothing. That's Tony's desk. Okay, so I got to use the one. And access the nightclub management app. All right. Set up staff. Set up equipment. Let's get the equipment first. Okay, head out into the desert. Like I said, we need to borrow some equipment from this festival, Ritual Sacrifice. I don't know if these guys are dorks, DJs, or doomsday preppers. Probably all of the above. But they've got a killer speaker system, and it's on wheels. The crew is having a bit of a festival wind-down party. So get over there and get the system, and maybe try not to kill anyone. I've got enough angst as it is. <laughs> well, hey, at least he doesn't want blood. You know, that's that's always good. Where am I... Why is this sending me the wrong way again? Okay. They've had me turn up this road. Alright, I think this is going to be a bit of driving. So we'll just, uh... Let's do the time warp again. You know, I never really drive the Baz Special. I, I built this on a lark. Again, to... To pay homage to a, an old buddy from the freelancer days who used to use a Nime all over his uh, really kind of hardcore, I don't even know if you'd call it a Nime. Anime. Anime. Whatever. That, that kind of thing. Whoa! We were going off in the bushes here. Involved a lot of, you know, nearly naked people dressed as cats. Was, that was like how he did his avatars and whatnot. Hardly ever drive the car, but it is really kind of nicely balanced. It's not the fastest thing, but it's it's pleasant. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, over the top. I'll save us some time. What's the point of having a four-wheel drive supercar if you can't off-road it, right? Okay. Well, other than driving into that, we appear to be largely pretty much here. Doesn't look like there's much of what's going on there. What? Collect the music equipment. Guess I should turn on music, right? Otherwise this is just going to seem awkward. Oh, I guess I don't have to worry too much about, you know, getting pinged for copyright, you know, things where I can't, I get demonetized. Because, um, I'm not monetized anymore anyway. I guess this is the kind of dancing you'll see in the club. the backpack. Too bad you can't steal one of the Riatas, but just for keepsies. The heck of a driver. Okay. Nobody here looks armed. Is there a way onto the top of the uh the bus? Yeah, really, I guess we'll just have to let's look. Is it just as simple as grab it? And I hate to lose the moment. Because this is this is one of those key moments in the game where you just have a bunch of random people giving you a preview of what it's gonna look like in your club, only with lots of probably extra weirdness. I'm guessing you're not going to see necessarily this kind of face paint and hippie chic Nescaferrily anywhere else here, folks. It's 
very Burning Man. Like, like that's, you know, like for the kind of thing that people who don't know what Burning Man is, like, you know, and I certainly one of those. So I don't really have a full grasp on it. They put a lot of effort into this. I don't think this is randomly generated. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bump you. That's right. Just keep dancing. All right. I guess we've we've wasted enough time here. Change the view back. Now let's see if we can take the bus. Got the system. Okay, everyone just runs away. And some run under your wheels, but she gets up. Okay. So we got that going for us. The DJ is still on top of the... All right, Neil, we'll bring the DJ back. Is he alive? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Will we kill the DJ just driving away? Oh, hey, look. You know, if he doesn't have a good balance. Or doesn't can't jump off fast enough. Um, this is a very tall vehicle. Why are people running in front of the truck? Are they trying to take it back? I mean, I'm not... It's not very maneuverable. I can't dodge everything here. Alright, this is, this is somewhat messed up. And you know, you know what? It's just because just it's annoying. Uh, let's go back to settings. I don't know, maybe you, get, maybe you really are digging the music. Um, that's enough of that. Yeah, I know I'm driving. Look, there's still people running around. We'll zip over this way, uh, up the hill. We'll pass some hikers. Look at that, it goes right through the wires. Like magic. I'm not complaining about that. Can you imagine if you actually, you know, hit wires in this game? How many problems that would cause. Okay, up over the dirt. This'll work. Um, you know, this was a pretty long drive coming out. Feeling it's gonna be a pretty long drive going back. A bit longer. Let's do the time warp again. You know, I just had a thought. You think when when uh, Tony Prince was uh, describing this festival and he had like, oh, there we go. We're, we're running into some interference issues. And he said he didn't know if it was some kind of cult or doomsday preppers or all of the above. You think that was an actual shot at what Burning Man is supposed to... Because no one really has a good feel for Burning Man. Is it a drug thing? Is it a music thing? Is it a new age thing? I don't know. I, I, you know I'd have to Google it or something. Yeah. At least we're doing this at the right time of... Oh, there we go. The right time of day is, is the lights are showing off a little bit. And you can buy this vehicle. Like, what purpose is it going to serve? Other than to have it and drive it around and look cool. I don't know. How are you going to fit this in the garage? Okay, trees. Okay, well, at least there's no interference from the trees so far. There is interference from the cars. So that's... Well, at least we know it, it plows through stuff like a regular bus. And it takes down... It takes stuff down. I mean, that that's a pretty strong head. Will we get caught on anything? That's that. Took some tree, some tree limbs down there. At least audioly. Audioly. It's audioly. Is that a word? Audibly. Come on. Around the bend. Woo. Woo. We're getting there. I think I chose a good location. Oh dear. All right. It's a good head. <laughs> We're carrying the light pole with us. There you go. All right, it's lit off. Right. So basically, this is very similar to you know one of the setup missions for you know for any of the other businesses. 
You know, drive out, get something, drive back. I guess if someone wanted to, they could come in with a Hydra and blow us up, but, you know. I'm not even sure. I mean, I'm, I'm in a public session, but I haven't really seen much of... Yeah, there's some other people, I guess. There's somebody. Hopefully we don't get any resistance. I don't know if there's any benefit to, uh... to trying to stop me. I'm just trying to set up my club and take down as many light poles as possible. Oh, dear! I think we need to take a different path. Okay. I want... I think... I think... Small minor challenge here. Try to arrive with the head intact. It's a stretch goal. It's it's kind of a big stretch goal. It's all about stretch there. Oh dear, here's some more. Can we can we kick the head up between everything? And... Come on, get me to the club. Get the music to the club. Get the music to the club. Club a dub. Club a rub a dub dub. Where are we going now? Let's up first. Let's. Taco bomb? Anyone? Alright, I think we're closing on it. Why do we have a giant flaming skull here? Is that like a, a Grateful Dead reference? Or a Ghost Rider? I don't know. Or just why not? I do like the visuals on this so far. Alright, let's, let's cut across here. Why well, just because? Okay, so we have to go where? Where am I supposed to go? Okay, there's a side street. So if we go up here... Come on, head, hang in there for a little bit longer. Hey, the club is starting to populate. Excuse me! Giant death's head coming through. Oh, there's... Okay, there's an outside thing. Alright. So! Kachunk. Equipment was delivered to the nightclub. I guess we stripped that down and now it's got you know, it's got music. Okay, so this is Okay, we'll start installing these speakers and hope to Moses no one recognizes them from the background of countless snapmatic shots of shirtless douchebags in top hats and goggles. Yeah? Now all we need is some staff and we're open. Log on to the computer when you're ready to pick them up. Staff? I wonder what this is gonna be like. Sit on down. And we hit enter on the thingy with the other thingy with the thingy. Set up staff. How does this work? And how many missions will it be? Okay, here we go. Get us our staff. You can pick them up in any order. You're collecting our head bartender, the head of security, and front of house. And someone to run your warehouse. Bring them all in here and we'll get it rolling. Oh yeah. Let's see. Well, there's a guy over here. Oh, the car says Prince. It's Tony's car. Yeah, it's Tony's car, baby. We're gonna take a shortcut. We're not gonna follow the purple line. We're gonna. I know a shortcut. Working for Tro Tony Prince, baby. So who's this guy? Are you loitering or are you gonna pick me up? Cool, let's do it. Okay, head bartender. Pendris. Hey, this is great. I'm so pumped to be working your bar for you. How many other this isn't good if there's other people around. Let's... One up there, one... Okay, there are... so it's not multiple. It's just we have to... What's let's... Tony been saying to you? When I agreed to come on, I gave him one rule. No watering down my bottles. And to be fair, he promised those days were behind him. You've got to serve the best quality shit nowadays, and you'll get one star on I Find Maps, and that is it for you. Believe me. I think he drives with a blue, right? Shortcut. I'm hoping I finish this mission before I hear thunder, because I could hear rain pouring outside. 
talking four to five inches where I'm at here. You piece of shit. Definite flooding possibilities, although probably not where I'm at. So we gotta get the staff. That's the get the peeps. I gotta say, this is they put more thought into this than I even properly expected. This is this is a uh... now it's just fetch missions. It's you, know, you gotta do a bunch of fetch, fetch missions here. Say fetch missions a few times. See if you don't trip over that. Woo! There is something to being primarily a race car driver in this game. He is pouring out there. Like, really, properly. I'm looking out the window now. That's just gushing down rain. So you might be able to hear that. The fact that you get, normally you can't even hardly hear it, you know, here we get somebody. Who's this? Head of security or What's up with you over there? Alright, let's go. Nice touch. Thanks for the pickup. Hey, is that Connie? Hey stranger. So these people have all worked together before. Okay. Am I canceling out phone calls from you Tony? Know, I was wondering if you'd be on board for this one. It's Tony Prince. Of course I'm in. Hey, how'd he get you to leave the gentry? One word. Solomon. Ha <laughs> I feel you. Now, I think Solomon's supposed to be a real person. That's, you know, very similar to how they had real-life famous people in GTA 4. You know, where they had Ricky Gervais. I didn't know Ricky Gervais and Cat Williams existed. Well, maybe Ricky Gervais. I think I knew Ricky Gervais existed before GTA 4, but that introduced me to Cat, and, you know, that was, I was blown away when I finally figured out that, you know, hey, these are, they're using real people. So I think it's supposed to be something similar. So this is, once again, oh dear. I'm not sure this is a good thing. Is he on the radar where I think he's on the radar? Stunt jump. <laughs> okay, so he's scaring the staff. And who's this? You're not a cop, are you? Oh, um, we're kind of full. Room for one more. Good to meet you. What's up? That looks like Johan, your tech. He'll run the warehouse. You know, all your other businesses. It's an important part of the operation. The part that's paying the rent. You can plug into any manufacturing you have set up and bring it through our storage here. He's a clever boy. Oh, that's too bad. I missed out so on some of those one? things by going Are to the map. To work? Look at you. All eager on your first day. Gay Tony, Solomon, damn right we're eager. Yeah, yeah, okay. We all are. The warehouse is gonna be pretty sweet too. The network they set up is like lightning. Um, okay. I'll come down to check it out. One day. It will be interesting to see how well all that dovetails together, how running the businesses out of this business will make life easier or make it more profitable or do wonderful things. Okay. So far, nobody has flown in in Lenacula hey, and blown my brains out. All right. Okay, so does that complete the setup? All right. All right, all right, lift it up a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, oh, perfect, 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 perfect. All right, come here, look at this. I love it. Tony's Funhouse. What do you think? I think it's 100. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm seeing tracers. I 
and the opening DJ. Get the crowd bumping. Get the millennials boys with the wooka wooka wooka. Uh, go away. What? Go get me some celebrities for opening night. Put up in the VIP lounge if you have to, but you will not be DJing. Uh, <laughs> my glow stick. Oh, now. Let me show you what we got ready for you. Come downstairs. Now remember, I do not nor want to know what's going on down there. I will plead absolute stupidity. But if you need my help, anytime, count on me. Now, this place is fully operational, huh? I don't do the tax returns, and I don't deal with whatever goes on down here. Now, I'm just a club manager, but if you happen to, say, fill it with some, uh, various products of your illicit businesses, I could probably help you sell them. Help right, me sell them. Now, everything else on the computer over there, and in the office. Shall we head upstairs? Does Here's that mean... our private office. The computer where you'll run things, my desk is over here. Hear no evil, see no evil. Good. All right, let's go get a quick drinky at the bar. Brave. Brave, mate. Think of nothing. Absolutely nothing. And brave. Ain't it amazing? Hello, Tone. Sniff. Ah, no thanks. Hey, baby, four shots. Good news. The big European is on the wing. Private, of course. Spared no expense, as you're paying. Well, it was a cheap plane, but whatever. Should we go and pick him up? And when you get back, we shall have ourselves a little party. Yeah. Here's to Tony's Funhouse. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you shortly. All right, lads. A little fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they they put a lot into this. I gotta say. Now it's sunny out. That's just... Click Solomon. LSIA. Let's Google this dude. Solomon's coming to LSIA. Let's get out there, alright? Try to keep this as interesting as possible. Let's see. This city don't know what's about to happen to it. Solomon, our Slavic savior. There will be river. There will be groove. And above all else, there will be feels. No one does emotional like that Balkan beast. Believe! Bring the tears to check! No! <laughs> A two-hour Solomon set's done more for me than ten trips to rehab. And I don't know how long on a couch talking to a head shrinker. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Let's get started. Hey, look, what are you doing with that place? Tony's fun house. Proper naughty. About time, too. Los Santos needs some nightlife. I mean, as much as I love hitting the toot with lonely old rich guys in their hills, but it's getting a bit boring, isn't it? Not very spiritual. Somewhat lacking in the old transcendental power of a bunch of nutters giving it some. Sweet. Hey, hold on. Solly, I think we see your plane coming in. What do you mean he's missed the runway? No, he can't be passed out. Not with all them uppers in his system. Get up there and do something. Push some buttons. Jesus, Dave, there's so many buttons. Just press one. It's what you do for a living. Uh, I'm a DJ, not a fucking pilot. Go on, you, you've got this, my son. Make me proud. <laughs> Oh! Yeah, that's not making me very proud! Oh, okay, don't worry, I'm back. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, I got it, I got Whatever it. Whatever you press before. All right, okay, cool. Don't press it, okay. Proper bad juju, mate. We might be about to lose our DJ. Okay. Follow that private jet! Where is he on the map? Downtown! Head downtown! Okay, let's do this. Solomon. You're gonna need to get it together, old son. Where is the man I love? Cool as a cucumber, while the rest of us are losing it. Getting proper rowdy. That's the Solomon on me right now. The miracle worker. The man who saved my bacon and my soul. Take control, soul. You got this, boy. Lovely. Lovely. You up there? Very nice. Now Not you watch the telly, don't you? Streaming, whatever. 
Not then bad, you've seen it done a million times. Grab the stick and act like you know what you're doing. Did he just say grab the stick and act like you know what you're doing? That's just no. What? Shit. You all right? Oh, thank God for that. Now, you know what not to do, okay? Point the stick again and keep the sky up there. The earth down here, eh? That. We're gonna beat the crap out of this car. Check I think it. He just He's over that. Legion Square. Easy does it. All right. Easy does it. Mellow vibes. Keep it proper mellow, mate. Fucking chill. Monday now, I wonder afternoon. If I lose on him. the beach. Recovery mode. Dreamscape. Pan pipes. Know what I mean? Now give the pilot a kick. All right. Still out. Bollocks. Okay, let's let's grab a. They've left the city. Get on the freeway. Okay, well. Let's... Are there any instructions about uh, a manual? Shit. No. How about I find? Search it. I mean, on your phone. I know you're on the phone, but I thought... Don't get shirt with me, my son. I'm not the one about to crash a plane. I'm trying to help. You're losing him. We need to be there when he goes down. So? So? Be smart now. You sure you want to do that? Flying's one thing. Putting it down's another. Solomon? Solomon? Shit in my pocket. The bugger's gonna try and land it. Follow him. Working on it. Bollocks. Pretty much. He's Just... over bowling break pen, the psycho. Where the heck is he? Let's just go up here. Hammered. Shit! He's almost at Sandy Shores. The maniac's going for the airfield. Solly is playing a blinder here. Going for the airfield makes sense. That's... Okay, let's see. What's the fastest way to the airfield? Oh dear. We're gonna get killed, aren't we? Okay, so we can't really go just for the airfield. We have to open this up because somebody's chasing us, ramming into us for no apparent reason whatsoever. Holy shit! He did it! The miracle worker! Let's go pick him up! Okay! My car just leave in there! I'm working on it. What's this guy doing? In green. Could it be he's on the same mission? There are going to be two planes there? See what he does when he gets up to here. Yeah. Will I see his plane? I don't think we're competing for the like Solomon, right? Here's a little GTA weirdness for you. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go. Can we fail this mission? We have to do it over. He's literally where we're supposed to go. Boy, Dave, where did you find the pilot? Oh, top of the range he was, son. No expense spared. Come here. I told you you were a miracle worker. Oh, well, the pilot's not dead. Let's go work some more. <laughs> Twat. Right, driver. <laughs> Drive on. Let's get to the club. Show him his digs. Wait, does this car say, is it say Prince as well? 
Now, unless we've bought the same club... You all right, son? To be honest, Dave, that was pretty intense. That's it, big man. What doesn't kill you, right? I've never been in a plane crash, I grant you, but I've had some bad trips, me, and I always find the spiritual path. Next time you hire the pilot, see how you like being in a plane crash. He was excited to see you, so you may have overindulged is all. You have no effect on people. You get intimidated. Anyway, bygones and all that. Have a glass of wine, put some tunes on, hit a vape. It's legal after all. You'll be right as rain. <laughs> No, no, I'm cool, okay. Excited to play it as. Hey, you met this guy. Owns Tony's fun house. I thought it was Tony. Ah, Tony's the looks. This one's the brains. Good to meet you. You must be pretty cool. Coolest cat in town. Genius brain, too. Just look at them there, thinking. <laughs> ah, you guys will get along swimmingly. Let's have some fun. It's going to be good. I got a good feeling about this. Yeah, me too, me old mucker. Me too. Okay, well, this is weird enough. Let's, let's I'm you know gonna what? leave it. You wankers are lucky, right? Didn't have dance music culture to begin with. Couldn't see it go to shit. London. The state of London, mate. Every decent venue stripped out, turned into a sushi joint. Can't eat a spider roll without staring at some exposed brickwork I chucked up on in the early 90s. My bat suits. Oh, they were some good pills, but Christ alive, did they make me chuck it. the British guy from uh, from GTA Vice City. I'm drawing a blank. That would have been cool if they brought him. First, I think they they put him in, a, in an insane asylum at some point. At least that's what the website. And there was it. Um, can't remember. All right, this looks like it might be quiet the rest of the way. More combo? Well, we're almost there. Almost. And here we are. Me casa, su casa, their casa. They don't know what they're in for. Come on, let's do it. Put my hat in the car. Follow me. Right this way. Okay, make way for talent. Celebrity a walking. <laughs> hey. Mind how you go, Twinkle Toes. Just down here. Here we go. Very Watch good, out, mate. old bean. <laughs> Solomon, hey. baby. Come here. Oh. Yeah, sorry my flight was delayed. He's a little shaky, but he's gonna be alright. I'm sorry I never met you, but I'm a massive fan. Massive fan! Yeah, me too! Uh, Solomon! Oh, Big Gates! Actung! Yo, I've got some serious ED. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do. No, no, no! EDM! EDM! I made a whole USB of tracks that I produced. <laughs> this is Laszlo. <laughs> High 10! <laughs> too slow! Uh, wait! Come on! Right, shall we? I'm a DJ too! I, I spend a lot of you know, birthday parties for kids to make extra money. Because uh, I can't always pay my rent because I live in a mansion. I'm a baller! Uh, uh, I'm not desperate. I'm a... I'm a celebrity. People love me. Come on. I love big pretzels like you people. Ah, here it is. We've done it. The party. We got the fucking party. We are the fucking party. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. And downstairs, fully operational, whatever you want it. Tony! Hey, <laughs> baby. That's nice dress. <laughs> the timeless class of latex. Let's go. <laughs> The timeless class of latex. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Jesus, tonight at the opening of Tony's 
fun house! Yeah, Los Santos has finally figured out how to party again. You're gonna join me, DJ Laszlo! The music's turned up. My very best friend. I discovered him in Ibiza, which is in the Netherlands. The set was amazing. He is starting his first ever residency in the United States in this club. All right? Please, all of you, give it up for the one, the only, Sullivan! <laughs> this guy. <laughs> let me know if you want me to MC. Uh, let me think about it. Okay, great. <laughs> he wants me to beatbox. I'm gonna fucking get laid. I'm gonna be down here with the chicks. Fucking grind it, bro. Molly, bro. Molly! Well, at least we could, we could hear the... Okay, nightclub staff is 11.50 per day. Yo, what's up? Peace. Okay, let's, let's turn the music back on for the time being. Let's see what this sounds like. Settings. Audio. Music volume. So this is the club. This has such a GTA Vice City vibe to it. This is, you know, just like, you know, that that's that's the feels I'm getting right now. The, the nightclub yet, yeah, yeah, bought in uh, right down by the waterway there with the nearly impossible jump. I'm gonna work through and get that DJ one day. Wait a minute, eat a dance. Tap in time with the beat to build intensity. Okay, let's change view here. <laughs> oh, there's dance moves? This is hilarious. And the longer you tap, the, the wilder you're... Uh... Yes! Left control, perform action. Did I lose intensity there? I think I've maxed my intensity out. Dance style, give it some. Okay, let's see. What if we do zoned in? <laughs> okay. Dance out, break it up. I think we're back to give it some. I lost some intensity there. There we go. The Q we get to rotate. <laughs> there's there's endless possibilities here. Well, if not endless, certainly enough. For just this is hilarious. Rockstar, I gotta give it to you. This is great. But you know what? It's time to go downstairs and see what the businesses are doing. Peek you in the corner. <laughs>
Clothing unlock, white salonum tee. There you go. You can also dance anywhere in the nightclub. Let's see where? How do I get downstairs or upstairs or get to the? Finding our way around. I think going completely gaudy with the purple and gold is definitely was the right plan. That's to go outside. Yeah, we want to exit tonight. We want to find our way downstairs. Is that a different entrance? I wonder. So we go in here. That's to the nightclub. Aha! A door. You can theoretically dance. Oh, let's go up. Yeah. Hey, an upstairs bar. Can we hit the dance button here? No, we're outside the dance zone. Can I get a drink? <laughs> you could... Well, you could pay $150,000 for, for a specific drink. Alright, let's just... Let's stick to vodka. I gotta work. something to keep this club running. The DJs play, I do my thing, Laszlo does his, I suppose, if that's a thing, and you've got to make sure Tony's Funhouse is the name on everybody's lips. 
You'll be spreading the word, keeping booze costs down, bringing the right people in, and keeping the wrong people out. And any of these jobs will have a direct effect on how well we're doing. I promise you. So. Okay, had some phone call stuff going on there. So, we've got passive income. Passive, folks. It's just gonna make money, like it did the old days, back in the, the Vice City days. Okay, so we do, um, we put up some posters here. Uh, by the way, I specifically stole this is uh, one of the new Fujos, which I guess are gonna be purchasable. And what you'll notice is delivery's gone. Which reminds me, I have to check my white one to make sure it still has one. What you old school? Ah! And the music continues. We might as well let that go because what the heck. This, this wasn't going to get monetized anyway. Well, it's so repetitive. I wonder if, I wonder if you can copyright that. That's, more phones. Hold on. I just gave. I don't know. And platelets notice. Ah, oh, well, let's see here. Luke. This is a long... Oh, am I going the wrong way? No? I hate it when it jumps back and forth. Like, it could go this way, it could go that way. Alright, this is... Let's do the time warp. I'm, like, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going back out to the old... Uh, the old... Whatchamacallit. This is completely screwed up. That was from the last mission. It was still there. Oh, goodness. Time remaining. So and this, is, this is a time a time challenge mission. So I might have completely screwed this up. Hopefully not too badly. Come on, Fudo. I should probably be using, like, you know, the Vigilante for this. But it's a repetitive mission. So we can, if this doesn't work... Well then, that's okay. Let's let's see what we can do here. Where the heck is it? It's on the ground downstairs. Oh, if we if we if we jump off, we'll lose the food out. Now this guy's. If you get out of my, I'm not gonna lose this for five minutes to get downstairs. the axis. Where's the entrance? Dead gummit. Can we get through here? Can we get through here? Can we get through here? Can we get through here?
And there we have it. The fly posters are everywhere. Three decades and two septums into this job, and it still excites me seeing them. I feel like a kid again. Good work. All right, where can we park this thing? It's a little rough. A little rough. Basement level two? What if I said, what if it said, enter your nightclub? How would that work out? Okay, we go here. Because enter your nightclub, the, uh, level one? No, okay. Slightly different. So this is kind of like your, your main spot. Okay, so it's not a full parking area. Let's put this in basement level two then. There's more parking. So it looks like there's only 30 parking spots, I guess. I don't know. 31? I think that's enough for now, folks. We've been shot at a little bit by police randomly. I don't know why hap what that happened. Did I run somebody over? But... On this note, this is your Black Knight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm losing kind of the sterile field of the quietness of the day here. So, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.